All right, Grand Rising, everyone. It is Shay Seeking or Shalanda. And I don't know. Okay, I'm just sitting here thinking. I was just going through a lot of stuff that I've seen. I had something put together. I started already. But, you know, people, today has been one of them days where everybody is, like, on me for some reason. And I just don't understand. It's just been breaking up everything that I'm doing where it's just, like, almost like some some disturbing energy is around that wants to keep me off track. <laughs> and it's irritating. Okay, so, <clears throat> anyway. So I started thinking about something. And again, all of this is theoretical. We're just questioning things. We're gonna go ahead and say fair use. And we're gonna say this is for entertainment purposes only. And we're gonna say that most of the stuff in this video is alleged, okay? So, I don't know, there's something about this whole thing that again, with this Afghan issue. I really believe that, again, we're getting a perception of something on the media, these horrific images and things like this. But I feel like it's low key for something else that's happening on the grounds here in America. That's usually how it is. I already told you about the Capitol. I already told you, I mean, even talking about the Capitol is reminding me of a cornerstone. Just round. <laughs> it's also reminding me, like I said, of the dome, the head, the Akashic records, the information, prehistoric even information. And when we're talking about the borders, I think it's talking about other things that are going on on a different scale when it comes to contact with beings. Now, again, I know that there's other things going on uh, that are so much deeper and it's just so intertwined. And I've been trying to kind of speak on it the way I, best way I can throughout this time. Because we have this issue where I feel like there are uh, familial ties as above, so below. Um, but again, when it comes to those above, they have a lot more abundance informa abundant information than we do in the lower caste or class. And I think over generations, it has not been a curse. It has been the fact that some people have been abusing their power. They have been using tools within God for me. For, uh, with God, God running forces and other in, energies and countries and entities in order to infiltrate indigenous, aboriginal, autochthonous people in the Americas, right? And this is no offense to any of those groups. I'm just showing how over time, again, we have been had these types of movements form only to have them infiltrated, right? Or having plants, right? which can be grafted into certain family trees or things like that, okay? Um, that have been able to benefit from a continuing of, uh, a continuation of getting uh, ownership over indigenous lands or autochthonous lands, the earth and the people. Because the land also can be used to describe people. And I feel like when it comes to this conservator thing that keeps on ragging my brain or racking my mind. That this is how other people generate generational wealth and also displace real empresses and emperors or kings and queens off of their thrones. So stolen thrones or again, it is not it even I wouldn't say it's the fault um, of course, it has to do with lack of knowledge when it comes to those that are lower caste and class, because most of the time in these particular neighborhoods, people moved around so much, even back in the 60s, 70s and 80s, that we didn't get we didn't have the privilege of keeping documents and papers and images and, th and things like that on our family, because these are the scattered portions. And the, the reason why they would be scattered is because new idols. Right. Something in their likeness. Right. Bloodlines from different places like Ireland and things like that. We know about the Irish coming over and joining with certain groups. Russia, just all of these different places, right? So it, what it does is basically make sure that the originals stay in a lower caste class and a lower mindset for generations. 
while others come in from different lands, even darker skinned people, right? Even indigenous people of other lands when the earth is joining with the earth in Genesis. And since they help the U.S., not America, America, I look at it as that natural entity, so-called sovereign, that, that free, that, that, that earth, that organic, something that is just, you know, it can't be bound, right? Or it shouldn't have been, right? And it's dealing with nature and that which is natural. And we're talking about the U.S., we're talking about a corporation, we're talking about the corporation that brought in full reign entities, right, from other lands in order to be overseers, which is almost like a conservator. Um, and I hope, and I cannot stand saying the word because I always feel like I'm getting it wrong, right? Um, and again, sometimes these things, it, it's an abuse of power or abuse of something because sometimes people can handle their own trust and their own things on their own. But again, I think that because we are the ones that hold those particular gifts, especially when it's talking about Joseph and things like that and like the priestly gifts, I think that has to do with also being seers and also being, you know, people that hold these types of gifts and things um, that are demonized, vilified, right? And overthrown in a sense. So it made me start thinking about this movement in 10, 12 years ago, how it started, who was in it, who came in later, who, you know, who, who's exalted, who's not, you know what I'm saying? What, do we see this whole copycat energy sometimes, you know, this is, it's almost like a hijack almost to it, but it's hard to identify because again, these people get in, they throw shade at other people. They're given tools and information to be able to do this, right? Again, because at the end of the day, it's always supposed to be these individuals that keep on getting the promised land. And that keeps it out of the hand of the true indigenous, even the uh, royal lineages that are the original supreme, right? And they'll still use the information. They'll still cipher information. They'll still copycat. They'll still tap into your Akashic records. They'll use ancient and, again, modern technology in order to obtain this stuff about the ones that are at the bottom because they look at them as cattle or sheep. You see what I'm saying? Until source raises up one out of that mindset and works with them and helps them use other things and resources and connect with other people to pull the people out, right? So again, it made me think about the burning building, right? So again, me questioning things, like I said, about the the, the land um, patents and stuff was not in a malicious way. It was just questioning and we found out that basically that they were given to people that were not original people, right? And so I'm just wondering, okay, so that's, okay, that's the key right there, right? <laughs> so again, I hope that I didn't repeat this because I just had to re-record it. But again, America is that which is natural. The U.S. is the corporation, So it made me wonder, this has to be going on for a long time. And I think they started talking about that it's 16 years since Katrina, right? We see the president and that seems to be in some kind of FEMA center. And that just triggered thought. And, and how, again, the whole pullout thing that's going on. And I guess he's not really answering questions about things in detail anymore. And I keep hearing people say, but well, why did he do? But it's just common sense to answer this, right? And maybe we're not crying out loud enough as to some type of form of injustice is going on. Now we see there's a movement going on. We see that there is a movement with people getting land back and things like this, right? But it also makes me worry about the mindset of some of these people seeing some of the things, given the gift to see some of these things that some of these groups may be doing, right? I think they said in certain states, the, the, the murder, um, when we're talking about defunding police and things, and you know, we, we see a dual, dual energy there. Yeah, they show you defunding the police like they want to take money out of the police station's pocket. But no, I think the defunding of the police had to do with the defunding of these police, us. When you look it up in etymology, it'll tell you how it's a group of people that are to fight for something. So again, really originally is really supposed to be you. 
especially those that are speaking out and speaking on certain topics and situations, right? So again, that made me think about the defunding of police. That means pulling something out, right, from them. So again, even silencing with the mask, right? Spiritual, physical. And then it made me think about how, like, we're seeing, I see that this whole Afghan thing, again, is another thing where we're given a perception of something somewhere else with devastating images. And we, also, we probably have something that is going to spiritually or really affect people on this land. And if that's the case, and what I sense around me, the energy around me, is that I don't know why I feel like it has something to do with the Midwest. And I see something again with Wisconsin because, right, of the amounts of people that they supposedly brought into Wisconsin. And then... Just thinking about the, they keep talking about the Bagram. And I don't know, that B in Graham, I don't know, it keeps sticking out to me. I don't know why. And then the fact that they're talking about this and talking about this pullout as if they shouldn't have never done it. So I started thinking, what spiritually does that feel like? That feels, that feels kind of like a connection or something that I feel, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to uh, an abrupt separation in a sense. With some type of connection, right? And then it, I don't know, it just made me think about how they did that, the whole pullout, the 31st is coming, you know, and now, you know, we do know that we have, they have HARP, right? And if you don't know, I think it's H-A-A-R-P, possibly, um, you can look it up, but you know, so we'll just say that they do have that or they have the technology, right, to make moves. And it's almost like we just they, they just did that, dropped the ball on that. And then now we're going to move over here to this catastrophe. Two days, like two days before they're supposed to pull out all the way. But again, they've already been pulling out. They've already been exercising this fear factor again on the. The land, And I'm, I'm saying because they're talking in cold is going to catch people off guard, but they're telling you, see, there's this thing with these energies having to tell you what they're doing, but in some kind of deceptive way. In order to catch you off guard. And it's making me think about this vision. I keep having, it's a dark vision. There's a field and there's bodies piled up everywhere. And so it's making me think, like I said, hmm about something not good but it you know we're going to be we're going to be driven right into this isn't even done yet right and we're going to be driven right into talking about this hurricane let's see something ida feminine old high german Old Norse, work, as the name of a mountain near Troy, hmm. which I feel like has to do with the South here and the Americas again, and one in Crete. So Helena, oh, see, that's my, gra that's my great grandma's name, um, Helena, from Helena, I keep, I, I think it's Arkansas, maybe? And her last name, right, would be Henley, right? And she would be, mm, I, I can't really never find that much information on her, right? And then, but I know that there was a plantation in, under that name as well there. And a story that went with it that was kind of, I don't know. Hmm. But it says the mystic birthplace of Zeus. It's probably a different word, um, unknown, related to IDN, an agency of the United Nations affiliated with the World Bank. Hmm. Oh, wait, because I think there was some kind of case with Henley versus something. Where somebody got cut out. 
wait a minute, y'all, because I really didn't go that deep into it at that time. But you know what? Maybe I should. Yeah, there was something about a bank or something. You know, I'm thinking like, man, if this has something to do with my family, then there's something else going on over here that we need to know about. But like I said, I, I really hit an abrupt stop with that that name. Now, I, I think I've... Uh, okay, um, there was something about... I don't know, Roosevelt's, um, well, which is another name in the family, but it has something to do with Roosevelt, uh, president. And then Rachel, oh, it's just, it's so much stuff, y'all. Okay, I'm not even going there because that's not what we're talking about right now. I don't know why, it's just all just piling up right now. Okay, so... <laughs> See, this must make me lose track, okay? So like I was saying, anyway, so if we're looking at it in that light, okay, and we have these groups that may be planted in this movement, and they have more information and knowledge, and then finding out about the crime rate going up to like 90% in some places I just heard on the news. I think I placed, I put the um, link to the video um, in my on my Facebook, I think, okay? And then the fact of Esther with the prophecy of coming in and telling a prophecy about the plan to murder um, or to get rid of um, 75,000 or more Jews. And then how we, the slip up with Biden talking about the 90,000 or 90 million people being deployed or dispersed or scattered because that's what it means. And then to see him a couple of days with FEMA you know what I'm saying? It's just making me think about something. And then, so again, they're dropping the ball. So I feel like some of these groups that are in the so-called indigenous movement that are coming back to get land back, I think that some of this can steamroll into leaving certain groups open, exposed, and available, especially capitals. Okay? So the linking up of these flames and everything like that could be some fake ones and things like this would lead to people, you unknowingly, okay, allowing these people to become a conservator or an overseer or, again, giving them some kind of something to your, and so, again, that can lead to a lot of, you, you see what I'm saying? It just something ain't sounding right to me, and we've been already talking, so I'm not going too much into detail because we've been talking about it already, but I feel like, I, I started thinking, wait, why would the... Why would governing forces join up with these groups? Then they're trying to say Taliban and scream Taliban. Now, I know I was at the beginning of, in the forefront of this group, but I'm not going to be the scapegoat and I'm not going to be the fall guy because some of these groups are and the things that they stand for are not the same thing that I stand for. I stand for the truth, non-biased, and I speak for all people. It just so happens that we found out that we were already here and we were not from Africa. And that's what it started for me. That the numbers were not right when it comes to the slave trade. And that it was told in reverse in my eyes. To bring order to the court. Not hate or discrimination. You don't see it on my platform. We use the terms that have been given to us that may be offensive to people, but it's not, I didn't choose these terms and these ways to speak it. This is what we were, we were given. So I feel like what they want to do is make me out to be, because I do say, well, I'm the one you know, that started, but I'm talking about when it comes to that biblical text, matching that up and correlating that with the story, it was nobody doing that in the community that I was in at the time when I started to do it, right? And I feel like there's supposed, there's like some linking together of me and some of these groups so that they can feel like we're friends or we're together, okay? So it'll be okay to leave certain groups, certain places when we know that these people might be in the malicious form or in a, a form of a militia, right? That when they've already turned the community against some of the people that were spearheading it and put other people in the place to take on that legacy, right? And I feel like they know who the, who the top dogs are. They know where the juice is. But once they got everything that they need, then they can get rid of you. And the messed up thing is some of these people are family. You don't know that they're your family, but they are. <laughs> Because we're talking about mounting or siring onto bloodlines and lineage. Making me think even strange fruit or something like that. Hold on. Okay. 
So again, the real royals, again, had been overthrown a long time ago when they came into the Americas and placed other nations or groups in the place of them. Right? So what do you do if you have the capital, that vassal, that earthen vassal, that living, that, that life giver or that tree that has nourished many bloodlines through the wombs of those women? They, they would hold a lot of information, especially about this part of the land in their Akashic records, right? And in their lineage. being that mother of all. So what I feel like is the ball has been dropped in order to leave that individual, right? After surveilling and, and, and also, you know, um, abusing, right? Terrorizing someone mentally, minded, and then to leave the, you know what I'm saying? And what if it was the case where things were left so that the people can monitor or further, you know, your, your enemies, they already want you, you own the hit list, right? You know what they've been doing behind the scenes, dragging your name, sharing your inform your personal and private information about your life. And again, when you hurt or when they see that you're hurt or you're wounded, right? And they may have honored you at one point in time, they don't care. Because they think that they know you. Because maybe sound bites or something like this. Right? And then the thing is, you leave that individual as if it's their fault, if they were fully advised and, and we were totally clear about certain things, right? When there's no ties, no connection whatsoever. There's never been a meeting, there's never been a phone call, there's never been anything. But I feel like they want me to take the fall as if I am some kind of individual, right? Some kind of terrorist <laughs> because I'm still speaking truth. And again, the ones that tell you they're telling you the truth, they know where to stay in that box. They know what code to keep. They know what information they better be talking about and they better not be talking about so they can keep their, 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 um, uh, their positions in whatever mm -hmm, power that they're in. Where if you don't have nothing to hide and you just being true and real, then the information is going to come out that way. <laughs> you, you're not going to know that somebody's looking at you and monitoring you or reviewing you to see if you fit in a certain position. You, you never knew. <laughs> so then they can say, see, this person is not, you know, and then give it to somebody else. Right? And I'm not saying this is just me. I'm saying this. I just feel like I am that capital. I feel like I am that one that has risen this time. That's standing alone in a sense, right? And not fearing anything. <laughs> and I won't back down for anything. I just feel like that's 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 me this time. Maybe, I mean, you can even break it up however you want to. But again, I just feel like that's just what it is. <laughs> Whether people want to accept it or not, that's another thing. So what I feel, we are talking about the Midwest. We're talking about the fact that I know, if we want to talk spiritually, that there is a the kingdom of the north belongs to me. Also, some in the south, South Carolina, North Carolina. I feel like there's ties to Georgia, to uh, Arkansas, and these particular things, right? Even some out west, right? So if you can if you can take down the uh, the individual that might even have ties to most of the land or you see what I'm saying or all of it then that's it it's done then there's a free for all cuz I feel like the movement has started out down in the south and now they're moving up and branching up into the north So again we're talking about this Afghan or these people that are going to now sit into those positions they already hate you they know who you are they already want you gone so what we turn we leave and drop the ball and we turn and walk away and we start talking about the storm. While there's a real storm going to be a brewing in another place. Now I could be wrong. 